Hello everyone, today's topic is the phaser. I will introduce some basic usage of phaser methods. First, registration. We have different ways to register party to the phaser. By constructor, here we register two parties. By register method, here we register one parties. By bug register method, here we register five parties. After all the registration, we should have eight parties in this phaser. Um, arrival. This is a real method indicating a party arrive the phaser. Here in this phaser, we have two register parties. After this arrive method, the arrived party will equal to one. Arrival and deregistration. We have arrive and deregister methods indicating one party arrives at the phaser and deregister de itself from the phaser. If we have phaser with one party, after one arrive and deregister, we will have zero party registered in this phaser and the phase number became negative 1, indicating this phaser is terminated. Here, if we have two parties registered in this phaser, after a ref and deregister one party, we will have just one party registered in this phaser. A ref and a wink at once. A party arrives at this phaser, awaits all other registered parties to arrive. Here, we declare a phaser with no initial registered party. Then, in this main method, we register three parties. Then, we created three new threads. In each thread, we call arrive and await at once. When thread one party arrives at the phaser, it will wait for another two parties also arrive. When all the parties arrive, the phaser will go to the next phase and the following code can be executed. We can see the result. After all the three parties arrive at the phaser, then it go to another phase here and the following sentence is executed. And advance to next phase. Here we have a phaser with two registered parties. Then after two parties arrive, one, two, the phase will go to the next phase number, here from phase 0 to phase 1. Termination. Here we have two phasers. This phaser just have one registered party. After this party arrive and deregister, this phaser will regard it as terminated. We can get this from its terminated method. This phaser have two registered parties. Here we call false termination. We also terminate this phaser. We can see the terminated is true. An advanced method. This phaser override the unadvanced method. Unadvanced, unadvanced method body will execute when the phaser advance to a next phase, all the phaser is terminated. When the phase number arrives to, all the registered parties equals zero, the phaser will be terminated. Here, we can terminate this phaser by deregister the only party in this Phaser. Here we can see the phase complete with register party as zero. 
and the phase is terminated. Um, here we use another way. We terminate with a wrapping phase 2 in the main method to terminate this phaser. Here in this example, we terminate this phaser by arriving phase 2 in multiple threads. Yes. That's all for today. Hope you enjoy it. Have a good day.